when you're hunted as a human being, when you feel hunted like an animal, some of the emotion you have um, isn't human-like. Hmm. You know, you, you go back to this most primitive, primitive feeling. It's not human. I'm not talking about like the fear of the dark and the fear of a boogeyman and the fear of like losing your, your family, you know, those are, those are pretty common, maybe fears. Mm -hmm. Um, but when you're hunted, when you feel being hunted for whatever reason, it doesn't even matter if it's religious or ethnic or whatever, It all comes down to that same primitive animal low, low, low frequency. Like, and the emotions there, they're not human. They're not, they're not supposed to be part of the human experience. That's why we are civilized. That's probably the base, base, base level. And then human and whatever humans are, they have, through the evolutionary process has built our levels on top. That's why we have the, you know, the, the prefrontal cortex. That's like where you as a human really, that's your personality. That's mm-hmm. where rationality, that's where it all comes in. And then you have the mammalian brain and then you get down to the reptilian brain. And mm-hmm. I don't know how accurate those terms actually are for describing what you're saying. But my yeah. sense is that the brain is a sense, it's like a, it's building and certain things get de-emphasized as other processes yeah. come into play. So when you're in a situation like you just described, you're actually being hunted. Those emotions are ancient mm-hmm. because that's probably what it felt like to be a pre-hominid, pre-pre-pre-human thing. And and we just were somehow emerged out of that as a species. And there's no room for those emotions in a civilized setting. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. why a lot of people will... will go silent or go within and internalize their trauma and um, their experience is there's not a language for it and half and, and most of it even is so unbelievable that it is difficult to express so yeah that base that base low so you know we pride ourselves as a society we get to this point where like our little children are supposed to feel this way Mm -hmm. and anything below that is a taint on their childhood and um, worthy of um, coddling Mm -hmm. worthy of like treatment and nursing and and um healing you know there's a standard yeah and and every society is different like you go to some societies and that standards way down here like six-year-olds are working and hunting and (laughs) providing they don't get therapy for that yeah but um when society collapses and when there's war and when there's uh where we're barbaric and there's ethnic killing, that whole standard of, of the emotional development, especially for children, children of war and children of, of these conflicts, that just goes away. Mm. There's no low. Mm. And so the experience, it, it drops with that, you know, that the, the, most, the most lowest existence for humanity is when society dissolves Mm -hmm. and order and safety and that happens to you know a lot of people who are escaping atrocities and like i said if they're being hunted if they're feeling that um, threat on their life and it's a it's a pure threat from another human being on your life it's not because you committed a crime. Um, it's not because of something you've done. So there's no, there's not at all any kind of a rules to go by in in that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, there's um, there's very um, 
I think very strong feelings that are very difficult to express when someone goes through um, feeling of being disposable, you know? Yeah. Like that feeling feeling of your humanity disappearing and becoming subhuman and disposable those don't just go away when you're safe yeah they don't just like you don't just land here and the statue of liberty waves at you and you all of a sudden are upgraded with like human 2.0 or whatever the like all of your uh, experiences disappear yeah yeah no you don't feeling subhuman stays with you that is your trauma you know, being re- being regarded as disposable, like the lowest of the lowest when it comes to human life, even more disposable than material objects. Like there's art that's more valued than human life. Mm. Yeah. There's like Jesus cheese. There's like that cheese that has the jesus's face on it or something yeah yeah, yeah. And, and no disrespect to jesus like jesus jesus is my is my friend you know but <laughs> no, I, what I, i'm saying is there's there's pieces of cheese that's valued more than human life yeah that you know people will go like in the streets and like save that cheese you know people will protect the cheese yeah. over life yeah. yeah so when you in your psyche when you come to grips you know and and imagine this like i'm a kid i'm a kid that just is the most you know naive like i'm just like feeling things like oh that does that when i touch it and right that dandelion's magic Mm -hmm. you know like when you're a kid you don't think dandelions are weeds they're magic they're like wands and and your wishes are supposed to come true you know when you when you blow on those dandelions but you're a kid and you're just in this you're sensing the world and you're piecing together what you can even remember day to day because you go to sleep and you wake up like you only stored a tiny bit of your experience because you're a kid and you're eating and you're playing and you're you're not thinking about it you're just in the process of just being there and being a kid and then all of a sudden you're shown, you're not told, but you're shown that you're not worthy of, of life or you're not, your humanity is negotiable Mm. or you're, maybe you don't understand your own humanity, but you can see that these adult people in your life, they're shook. And these people are like pillars to you. They're, they're unshakable, you know. Your grandparents and your parents, if they look at you a certain way, they're gods when you're a kid. And when you see the adults shook and when you see that they're like becoming smaller and dimmer and fearful and hiding and minimizing themselves, minimizing their humanity, their, their wholeness, then you just learn naturally that, oh, okay, we're, we're, we're those people. We're disposable. We're the, we're the disposables. No one has to tell you. And then you see that because you become homeless and nobody cares. And your family members are slaughtered and that's normal. That's like normalized. 